Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 4, A Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we got a bunch of printies kidnapped by probably the Warden. And they are going to get shipped out and we are never going to hand out their promised sardines. And Valvatorez, understandably being a bit annoyed at this, decided to chase them down. So, <clears throat> in this episode, that's exactly what we're going to do. After I talk a little bit more about weapons. Spears have a range of 1 to 2 and increased defense as well as attack. Their special skills have a tendency to move the attacker. Belts are equipment that raise your attack power primarily. They're kind of useless. I'm just going to ignore them entirely. Ooh, better sword, that's a thing. Alright, let's go to the hospital, and... Oh, I can claim a prize. You get prizes for healing a lot. So, we get a brawny muscle and a common orb. Muscles increase HP, orbs increase SP. Orbs also increase a little bit of res, so uh, putting them on a healer can be a pretty good idea. <clears throat> Finally, I want to go check out the data shop, see if it's open. Nope. Okay. Let's talk to everybody. <laughs> that crazy slime. He apparently does not like bell peppers. But I don't want to be a pie! I don't like gravy! <laughs> Silly town. CONSPIRACY! Um, uh, let's see, we just gotta talk to the kitty now, right? <laughs> say Lion Man. Can't inspect it. Okay. Uh, Fenric? What are you doing? Did you seriously get stuck, Fenric? Okay, well, he's fine now, I guess. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Alright, so, we have here the rehabilitation room, which we have apparently already done as part of the tutorial, but I'm gonna go check it out anyway. It's a decent enough practice room for anybody that really needs a quick leveling up. I'll show you sardine power. I like never going to use those printies ever, am I? XP plus, mana plus, enemy weaken. Not bad. Okay, so the geoblock layout is a little different from before. That's fine. <clears throat> Here I come. And wow, Mr. Red Skull, can you move any slower? Thank you.
nine damage. Alright, that was something. Let's heal up and head for the real star of the show here. The reincarnation site. It's a pretty factory! That voice sounds familiar. It's Axel! He's the warden. <laughs> Welcome to Disgaea, where everything is ridiculous. Meet Axel, the Warden of Hades. He was a star in another netherworld. He likes fists and swords. He takes half damage from humans. It's Evil Pink! He's adorable. Magic chain, you say? We don't know anything about that yet. <laughs> Anti octopus. What? <laughs> the names in this game, I'm telling you, man. And there are two Simons! What? Anyway, masked hero. Speedy move. Um, yeah, they move fast, they can run right through enemies, and they get a speed bonus by moving. So, uh, yeah. Try and deal with them. Here I come. Time to bust some balls! Perish. Yep. It's a thing. Time to bust some balls. I'm gonna do it. Here I come. to my options actually and check something. All set. All set. 
Eh, I guess it works. But who was the voice of that mysterious girl? Who is that mysterious girl who had a voice? We don't know. It's horrifying, it's mystifying, it's electrifying, it's crazy-fying. It's not even a word. Also, wow, Axel, you are tough. Uh, I'm gonna magic you, because magi mag mag Also, you're weak to fire, which is nice for us. That's how we're gonna do this. And the healer's input was not even necessary. Semispathe! So, you understand? I have no intention of disobeying you whatsoever. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can-do. Because that's the Corrupterman's will! What? The Corrupterman? What could they possibly be up to? CONSPIRACY! Mass extermination of the Prinnies! Oh no! Right. The rapid increase in the Prinny population is starting to be a major problem all over the Netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, <coughs> noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, decreased test scores. These are all the Prinny's fault. <laughs> decreased test, test scores. scores. To get rid of them. The Abaddon, a band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the Netherworld President himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corrupterman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the frennies are gone. What about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? <laughs> the problem is, what's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool. The promise has already been made. Until I keep my promise, no one gets the prinnies. I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president. Please calm down, my lord. It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corrupter men. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corrupter men? Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them, and to break the promise I made. All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that word demon breaking a promise isn't? I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please think back about all of the things that you've lost just to keep the promises that you've made in the past. If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Let's not talk about it. Now come, Fenric, before the Prinnies are disposed of. <laughs> Hashtag not my president. <laughs> Ooh, the campaign HQ. <laughs> Conspiracy. All right, let's check out the uh, HQ. We have uh, we have maps. Once you actually rule an area, it will become even more useful for you. Place the units that you've created on the areas of the map. 
Use Dispatch Evil Deputy to place your units on the areas. <laughs> the chance of a team attack will increase if you place two allies next to each other. You can only place one unit on each land. <clears throat> In order to create a new unit, you will need open land. So we can only have so many units, and that's uh, decided by the available map space we have. We will go ahead and submit a bill. Mana is needed in order to do so. So this is our second use for mana. Cheaper stuff. We need more eyes than nays. We can always win the vote for, through force, but senators are actually pretty strong, so that's not going to be an option to us at, at this point in the game. See that there is some land info here already. If we call a Senate hearing. Hades field trip. Add Rutil and Stella to your party. We get this by uh, having a Disgaea 3 save available to us. Meaver's swimsuit. Meaver is, I think, the, uh... I think the dimension guide. I want to cheat. Put a cheat shop on the base. This is a feature that was carried over from Disgaea D2. Uh, let's see if we can pass it. Welcome to the Senate! We prepare by bribing the Senators. Okay, that's nice. Please enjoy democracy. Alright, so we have Upper Senators, uh, Mid Senators, Lower Senators, and Supreme Senators. The, uh, the higher a senator's rank is, the more influence they get when voting. So obviously we want to go after the supreme senators, the Dragon Party, the uh, and other parties. They each prefer a specific kind of bribe. Uh, dragons like muscle items, which means we can give him this, but he already loves me, so I don't really need to worry about that. The Basile party likes emblems, which are stuff like the Imperial Seal, etc. Nekomata like glasses, slimes like monster weapons, <coughs> fossil dragons like weights, gargoyles like orbs, zombies like item or like equipment, and uh, Kusis prefer shoes. We've got most of the uh, we've got most of the Supreme uh, Senate on our side, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pass the vote already. By the way, a uh, a love status is a 99% chance to vote yes. Um, total support is 90%. Strongly for I think is 75%. I don't know what the others are. But anyway, let's begin the vote. And if you get tired of watching this, I'm pretty sure you can hold R2 to speed it up. So, now we have a cheat shop. Hades Field Trip Bill can now be suggested. Alright, so, let's see if we can't find this, uh, cheat shop. 
Here she is. In the cheat shop, you can change the properties of the netherworld to make things more convenient for yourself. You can spend cheat points to uh, raise the ratios of EXP, mana, tell you get. You can change the enemy strength just by uh, raising the star level. You can turn on and off certain uh, network features here. I'm Actually, no, I'm going to keep all of these on. And that's it for now. That's, that's all the cheat shop can do right now. We've already heard about this. Alright, so, in the next episode, I am probably going to take a detour and try to recruit Rutil and Stella. So, I will see you guys then. Bye-bye for now.